morning from the streets of Puerto Vallarta. I am wearing my apron this morning. <laughs> Not something I normally wear, but we are doing a cooking class this morning. And the first thing we do before we can cook, of course, is go and get the food. So we're on our way to the market and we're gonna make a ton of different dishes. I love cooking and I can't wait to find out how some of my favorite Mexican foods all come together. Someone is excited. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Are having their breakfast. Hi guys. Be scared. Hola. <laughs> On our way to the market, and if you can see behind me that green statue, that's of John Huston, the very famous film director. He directed a movie called Night of the Iguana, which was shot here in Puerto Vallarta. And that movie is sort of credited with, with turning Puerto Vallarta from a fishing village, which it was then, into the tourist destination that it is now, really putting it on the map. Not so much because of the film itself necessarily, but because of the very famous relationship between Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. Ooh. Crossing the river. <laughs> A little early in the morning to be bounced on this bridge. <laughs> but it's fun. This is our cooking class. I guess it's pretty clear what our group is doing walking down the street. <laughs> Everyone has their little market bag and apron on. I love how all of the street names here are these beautiful, like, painted tiles. It's so pretty. Okay, I see the market. Gracias. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Buenos dias. Here is the market where we're going. I can already smell the nice fresh fruit. So, Pineapple. adentro, pineapple. We use a pepino, cucumber. Remember, we have plans to make ceviche vallarta style. So this is one of the ingredients. This part of the ingredient of mole, mole poblano. It's called plátano macho. Macho bananas. Lucha macho. I forgot to say before that we have a chef named Julio who is going to teach us how to make the dishes and is also showing us around the market. It's his father who started the restaurant doing the cooking class, which is really cool, and he started it as a cart and then it grew into his grandfather's house, which is pretty cool. So Julio is showing us all of the ingredients that we need to prepare the foods that we're going to be making. And he said about this market, which I thought was cool, is that in order to be to have your food sold here, you need to be a local farmer. So all of the food that we're going to buy here is fresh from local suppliers. Sugar cane and coconuts. <laughs> Crazy like a coconut. Chop <laughs> tomatoes for make guacamole and ceviche. Guacamole and ceviche, anyone? This guy's got my number. <laughs> Maybe we should get extra of that. I, so. <laughs> I love, love seeing all the piñatas in the round. I used to have one every year for my birthday. <laughs> Everything just smells so fresh in here, and I just saw another chef walking through. <laughs> I think it's a good sign when you see the local chefs coming to this market. I think we're at a good one. There are so many different types of chilies that you can use in your cooking. Of course, these are all dried, and this is something I just learned. So these are dried jalapenos, which become chipotle. So that's pretty cool. Julio was talking about uh, the spiciness of peppers, which I, of course, paid special attention to, and said it's a little bit like scorpions. So with scorpions, the bigger ones have less of a bad sting than the little ones, and the same goes for peppers. So if you're someone who wants to avoid peppers, then the bigger ones are less hot, and the smaller the pepper, then the spicier it is. So they also sell necklaces? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. 
can always trust Mark to play with his food. <laughs> is hibiscus, which in Spanish has a much better name, jamaica, and um, you can buy it like this, dried, oh, so pretty, and uh, jamaica is used to make agua fresca, like a juice, which is delicious, and it's so cool that you can just come and buy your own as much as you want. If you've seen our video on Mexican hot sauces, we tried Valentina and the Black Label. And here, I would really like to try this, Salsa Huichol, which is apparently not too spicy. Sounds really good. What did this card say? This card said Tacos de Viagra. Oh, oh my. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Didn't know tacos had that power. No. at the market and now we're headed to a tortilla factory to see how they make tortillas. Gotcha. Fresh tortilla. Almost burning my hand, it's so hot. <laughs> With salt. I just got to try the freshest tortilla I've ever had. It was delicious. So, so fresh. I mean, people you had just told us uh, that Mexicans, of course, love tacos, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And if something is not a taco, they will turn it into a taco. <laughs> and, and that about 90% of Mexican food is corn based. So, a lot of tortillas like this all around. Cheers. <laughs> You know what's primo means? My yeah. co cousin. Oh, your cousin? Yeah. Oh. So we are here because we need chicken for put on the mole. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Hasta luego. <laughs> this smart little cutie knows what's up. <laughs> He's right by the meat market. Got a nice bone there. Is that good? Oh, maybe it's not to his taste. The grocery stores I know back home in Canada do not have this amazing bunting. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nice touch. Normally when we buy chicken, we don't get the terracotta tiles yeah. and the colorful flags. Yeah, or the <laughs> open air. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All of these vendors would be freezing cold in the winter. <laughs> Okay, he's from Oaxaca, and, the, and in Oaxaca they eat a lot of insects, the Mayan roots, and so he's selling grasshoppers with like salt and chili. Let's see. I think the, the trick here is to not look at it too much. Whoa. I'm gonna a mayo, not <laughs> I'll let you guys look at it. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. And they're full of protein, more protein than steak, right? Yeah. And grasshoppers. And apparently you drink it with mezcal sometimes, maybe you forget that you're having a grasshopper. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it doesn't. Honestly, it has quite a nice crunch. I have to say, what's good? Good. Yeah. Me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she's gonna try one, I guess I gotta try one too. <laughs> Show you the nice feet. All right, see that? Oh yeah. Got some nice long legs there. Yeah, really long legs. This grasshopper's been working out. This one's gonna walk down my He's throat. Been doing hills. <laughs> okay, All right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm yeah. not gonna look at it too much. <laughs> Inoffensive. It's actually like, it's nothing. No, it's, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah? I would actually have more. I would totally get some of these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
It's not at all. You think insects gross, no. but it's just kind of... It tastes like a bar snack. It would be like something you would get at the convenience store, like a bag of chips or something. Totally. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Mucho gusto. <laughs>
for for the I started when I was teenager, 15. Yeah, because the Gabby's restaurant is my mother's restaurant, so I started to work on the business. Yeah, but always I the restaurant grow like me, <laughs> grow I like baby. When I was a baby, the restaurant was a baby too. You know? Start with few tables, little stuff like this. So with the time, go our evolution, no? Evolution in a other to the next level. Everything is getting prepped over here, so we can do this really fast, ready to be cooked. <laughs> My toys? It's like a real chef. <laughs> this is like that moment in any James Bond movie <laughs> where the villain's like unpacking and stuff. Check me out. Some peeler? Peeler? Okay, it's just a peeler. <laughs> Excellent peeling. Thank you. And that's not my first carrot. <laughs> told us something that I have to share with you. So avocado in Spanish is called aguacate, which is an Aztec word. And what I didn't realize is that that Aztec word actually means testicle, because the Aztecs believe that eating avocado was good for your maleness. So the little hack for avocado is you poke the belly button in like that. You can see it kind of through there, and if it's green, it's ready. I didn't know avocado had a belly button. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> I like that. Forget mashed potatoes. I want mashed avocado. <laughs> Any day. Any day. is the guacamole we just made it has the serrano chili, tomato, red onion, avocado, and cotija cheese on top. And cotija he described as kind of like Italian parmesan in Mexico. <laughs> so fresh. Nice to know that I helped to make it too. Yeah. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. <laughs> Is named after her, and that's Julio's mom, so it was really nice that she came out to say hi. So, these are the dried serrano chilies that we saw at the market. Look so beautiful and red. Getting mashed to a pulp. <laughs> all come together like that. Yeah. I can handle that. Yeah? Because he said it, there's no spice, but he also said that it was the other spice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Yep. at the tortilla factory where we just went and now we're going to make them in tortilla. Right on the middle. Press. Ah, 
Good. Okay. Well, it's like magic. That was like a second. What are you, Houdini? <laughs> Too much fun. All right, let's just try this. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Gently. Yeah. That's the awesome. It's perfect. Wow. Oh my god. I have made a tortilla. Remove like a, a sticker. <gasps> so you need to be. Careful. <laughs> so come. You know how to make it. Come to the comal here. And then just like this. Ah, uh, just it. puffing. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, that's really hot. I'm gonna keep flipping it because it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. Look how good it looks. It looks perfect. It looks so good. It's my first tortilla ever. Wow. The crazy thing is that this is one tortilla. One. <laughs> so now I just have to repeat this like a million times. <laughs> or at least a lot more times to even have lunch for you and I. Yes. So hot the stove. It's like one motion. I've heard it's seal, cook, and puff. Yes, it's a good summary of the stuff. So when you lay it down, it's like 15 seconds to seal it, and then you flip it for about 40 seconds, and uh, then you wait for it to puff, which is the magical part. And that's how you know it's a good tortilla if it puffs really nice and hot. Oh, it looks so good! That's a pretty big tortilla, actually. Is it big? I <laughs> think it's pretty big. Put it down there. Look at that puff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not the correct way. You have good luck. Slap that tortilla. Oh, my goodness, baby. <laughs> my first time. It's <laughs> yours? Yeah. Oh my god. Your, that, wow, look at the puff on that. Your tortilla has height. Is that good? That's yeah. a super puff. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is the amazing table of all the salsas and food that we have just made. Can't take credit for the margaritas, but we'll drink them anyway. I'm pretty sure I got your tortilla. <laughs> I recognize that burn mark. <laughs> it's the Eileen signature. <laughs> I put that on all my tortillas. Okay, we'll pay a lot We are finally about to sit down to the fruits of our labors. We made a whole bunch of different foods and take, salsas. Take the tortilla. And we're gonna drink the margaritas even though we didn't make them. Take three bullets. <laughs> Knowing what went into this taco, buying all the ingredients at the market, and then knowing all the work that goes into making it, oh, makes it yeah. taste even better than Mexican food oh. already does. <laughs> has been so much fun. I didn't really know what to expect, but I love that we started with the shopping at the market, meeting all the different vendors and hearing about the fresh ingredients that are also local, and then coming back to the restaurant and Julio knows so much. It was just nice to see how everything comes together and learn some of these recipes. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. Make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe to the channel for lots more travel adventures. And if this didn't make you want Mexican food, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we'll see you in our next video.